Hello and welcome to Timmy's Ten again for an unboxing mail call. Today we have this damaged package that showed up. And this has cost me over $20, so I'm not happy with the way it showed up. And on top of everything, it sat in Florida for five days. So I'm sure that USPS ripped this in Florida. I don't think this seller shipped this with this damaged cardboard right here. Look at that. Everything's off. This is ripped. I believe this tape came from the Florida USPS. I really can't prove anything. On the package, they stamped that damage condition. In damage condition. My post office stamped that on there. She just told me that when she delivered it. And uh, this is how it showed up to their post office with this tape over. I doubt the, the seller sold it with this. But if you look, this is that really cheap Chinese cardboard that just breaks. And that is what happened is this must get caught on the floor or something and dragged so it really doesn't matter look at they didn't even wrap it in bubble wrap or nothing either let me just peel this right out and hopefully all the cars are still in it i got it for a sweet deal but that doesn't mean i want it to show up damaged and there's what i paid total so I won't have too much complaining to do. Do I blame the seller? Well, the seller probably doesn't know that you can't ship in those kind of boxes. Those boxes are terrible. Look at all the cars are all damaged too. They're all banged up. Wow. Look at that. Look at this. The track come off and everything. This really got banged up in transit. There was no bubble wrap around it. And these are all vintage cars too. This is not something I thought I was gonna have to deal with. That track went right back on. That's kind of cool. And then this piece right here must go like that. There we go. So that went right back on. I don't have to cry or nothing. And that is a really cool tractor with a metal bottom. These are vintage. Vintage rides. Oh, he didn't really fit in there comfortably. This cool Firebird. Metal on metal. T-Bird Turbo Coupe. Metal on metal. Ooh, this is my second one of these helicopters. I already have one of these. This is my second one. There's something wrong with my first one, though. I forget. There's something missing. <clears throat> Tractor shovel. What do they call this? Just helicopter. They call this Sea Spirit. Sea Sprite. I'll be able to see that better on the monitor. Two cool ambulances. This is really what I was looking forward to getting. I don't have these, and they're both metal on metal. My son Samson might get one of these. We'll see what kind of trade he's got. This one's kind of rotted. So that would be the one I part with. This is the one I'm keeping for my collection. Sweet ride. Ambulance. It's called... Citrion, Citrion CX. Uh, let's see what else we got here Cattle truck Plastic bed metal on metal And this is always one of my favorites this must be my third one That I have of this exact mold casting 1977 airport coach number 65 Another one that don't really fit. Fits better in the outside ones than it does the middle ones. Another classic. This one has plastic bottom. And it is a Citroen again. So definitely a different looking one. Matchbox. 
box racing another cool one metal on metal oh wow check that out that's a cool dump truck I've never seen before it's called the skip truck number 37 so all these are matchbox and it comes in blue trays. Oh, there's another one hiding in the bottom. Big old BMW. Plastic bottom, metal top. Thirteen cars came with this. And none were damaged, except for the box. The empty box was damaged. This has some damage to it, but I really don't care. I wanted, I needed the blue cases. This is really cool. And this is from 1980. The case is from 1980. Thank you, everybody, that tuned in and checked out my mail call. Please subscribe to Timmy's Ted again. Hopefully you watch the whole video. And until next time, T10 out.